Uh, speaking of frightening, so there's Ryan Nemeth in the back, and he's talking about all his success in Hollywood and major motion pictures and sitcoms, baby. And now he feels like maybe I'd have more success in wrestling if I get a new manager. So he's standing outside what is alleged to be the office of Hot and Flexible and uh, old CJ. And because it's got a, a, a sign on the door that somebody printed out on copy paper off a f***ing computer printer, it says, uh, what's her last name, C.J. Perry? C.J. Perry, yeah. C.J. Perry, hot and flexible, in a black and white cop piece of copy paper on the door. So he goes, and he knocks on the door, and the door opens, and he's like, oh, uh, I was going to see C.J. Uh, oh, come in, and it's Miro. And as soon as they open the door and, and Nimeth walks in, you can see that it's a room they've got set up for pre-tapes. There's actual lighting and a an interview background in the shot in this room. And otherwise, a light. And then, of course, the door closes and Miro kicks the shit out of this idiot. And the, and while they're making fake arg noises, but they couldn't even not shoot the fact that it's not an office or anything, or I don't know what the fuck. Why, why does everything have to be so ridiculously over the top fake to where you just fart at it? This was SmackDown a few years ago. This yeah. is, this is an old raw segment. The idea that they shot his face so that the door opens, you can't see who's there. All the cameraman had to do was move the camera a little bit over, but he doesn't do that. And that's WWE. He could have moved shit. it over the other way when they showed the goddamn interview set that he's walking into inside the room. Now this, but is they bad. didn't do that either. This is bad. And when you hear all the stories about Miro not wanting to do things that Tony Khan wanted him to do in the past, and you can't blame anyone for not wanting to do some of Tony Khan's bonehead ideas. But beyond that, if these are the things that he wants to do, why? Like he was making progress again, and now again, it's this whole thing where. His wife is either going to manage or all the job guys want her to manage them. None of the main eventers, the job guys. And then Miro beats them up. Either get a marriage counselor or do something else. <laughs> what is this? And certainly the, she's working when people have sent the comments in on Twitter, whatever, that she wants to be the greatest manager of all time. Well, it, it, I want her never, to be too. That means something's going right. Well, but you never know anymore because could she be one of the only ones that actually does interviews outside TV where she works her gimmick or does she actually believe that she might be able to do something like that? Because, I mean, it, they certainly can't make her a manager of anybody but Miro because she's not any good and she wouldn't be any good, would she? No, so she, that's the problem. She can only manage Miro or someone against Miro. Against Miro. That's it. <laughs> that's it. So no. So, all right. But you know, I mean, she's a good talker. For all the women that come into the business that can't talk, she can talk. She can't book, obviously. <laughs> but she can talk. Uh, we'll see. <laughs>